Okay. Okay, this is recording. Good day to all P2 students of NGIS. So for today's uh, revision, we are going to review all about uses of rocks. So we're going to begin with this one. So what are the uses of rocks? From, from our first slide, let's watch this video. Uh, where can we find rocks? From our textbook before, we've learned that we can find rocks almost everywhere. Earth is almost entirely made up of rocks. Okay, everywhere except uh, the hills, mountains, valleys, and what else? They are made of rock. Okay, stones and pebbles are made from rocks or they are rocks, they're the small ones. Garden soil and the sand at the desert are made from very, very tiny particles of rocks as well. The garden soil, all this under the soil, is also made of rock. The bottom of rivers and seas, you can find rocks too. Okay, and in our book uh, that we have learned before, we can find rocks at the park, or else at the, in the garden, of course, almost everywhere there, there are, there, you can find rocks, okay? So for, um, for the next slide, uh, there you go. This one is from uh, from our book. How can we use rocks? So we can dig rocks out from deep, deep, deep in the ground. We can also cut them from the size of mountains or cliffs. As you can see in the picture here, this is a backhoe digging rocks under the ground. Okay, rock is a hard wearing and strong material. It lasts for a long time. So it can be used in many ways. Rocks have been used from a long time ago. There is even a prehistoric period called the Stone Age, as what we have discussed before. In the past, rocks were used to make tools, like what you can see here. It's a, uh, a hammer made out of rock. See, it's a plain stone. They shaved the stone to make it pointed to cut things. And this one is a hammer stone. And they use this kind of tools during the Stone Age. For the next slide, uh, we are going to find out the uses of rocks, right? So rocks were also used for building. As you can see here, the pyramids in Egypt was made out of rock. So probably this one is a type of sedimentary rock, okay? Some like maybe sandstone or limestone, uh, based on its color. The Colosseum in Rome was also made from rock, okay? So nowadays, during our, our days at present, rocks are used to build houses and roads. So this one is a house and road made from rocks. So as you can see here, cement and concrete are made from mixing different types of rocks, okay? So remember, the different types of rock. We have three main types of rocks, right? Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rock. So when you are going to make a uh, mixture of these different types of rocks, you can, make, you can mix it with cement. And cement and concrete make good building materials because the, this is a strong uh, material to put up or build houses or apartment. They are hard wearing and do not rust or burn. Let's see the next slide. So look at this one. This is a concrete mixture of rocks, sand, and cement. Okay. Sometimes they also put gravel, the, the small rocks or pebbles to make it more uh, sturdy. Okay. Or the stronger building they can make from concrete. Okay. So when you say concrete, it's a mixture of rocks different types of rocks, sand, and cement. Okay, let's go to our next slide. We have, you can watch this one. Different rocks and their uses. Okay, so we're gonna play this. As you can see, this is a marble. Marble is a very hard rock. See, it's white. It can be used for flooring. And you can use marble to make statues, buildings, and furniture, bench and tables. Marbles come in different colors. The Taj Mahal was made from white marble, as you can see here. 
And we also have granite. It's an example of igneous rock. It's a hard rock and you can use from countertops, table, and it's very, very attractive when it's polished. So this one is flooring, granite as flooring, and then countertops in the kitchen and in the bathroom as well, you can, they can use granite. So this one is a sandstone. So sandstone is also a hard rock. Can use to, is, as, is an example of sedimentary rock. It can use to make buildings as well, construction. And this one is a red fort building. It's made from red sandstone. So what else? It's late. It's late. It's a metamorphic rock. It's soft gray rock, it's not, so, it's not so hard. It can be used for making house roof tiles. Okay, and a blackboard, and of course, a slate, as you can see here. And the next type of rock, chalk, is a chalk. It's a soft rock. It's usually used by teachers at school and to write on the blackboard. Okay, charcoal is a black soft rock too. But it's not the wood, okay? It can be used for fueling engines and for cooking in villages during the old times. And maybe nowadays too, they also use this one in the villages, okay? So that's it. Uh, there, we're going to find out where the, the things made from rocks. Oh, what is this? I think the numbering of my, I'm just going to show them everything. And then I will just show you one by one, okay? So... Things made from rocks, as we have learned in our textbook. This one, you can use kitchen countertops, sandstone building, roof tiles, floor tiles, statues, jewelry, or gemstones, rows and bridges. So these are just some things that made from rocks. As you can see, this one is a kitchen countertops. You can use granite or marble to make it. Statues made from marble and jewelries. Uh, or gemstones, of course, these are uh, expensive kind or types of rocks. And you can also see bridges and roads made from rocks. So you can watch this video again to review for your big exam next week. If you have any question, you can ask your teachers uh, for more information that you want to need or that you need to know, okay? So there you go, it's the end of our P2 science revision about the uses of rock. And I hope that you are studying your lessons very well and participating in our Telegram and Zoom online classes. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.